My next guest hails from Drogheda in County Louth, and recently, on the night of his 30th birthday, he had a double celebration, as not only was he celebrating his birthday, he also attended the premiere of his first Hollywood movie in Los Angeles. The movie called The Right also stars the legendary actor Sir Anthony Hopkins and has topped the box office in America. Have a little look at this. You think you outsmarted him? That's not the devil. Just a very, very sick girl. She doesn't need a priest. She needs a shrink. He still has you fooled, doesn't he? You forgot your bag of tricks. He's a deceiver, Michael. Welcome, please, Colin O'Donnell. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin O'Donnell, ladies and gentlemen. Just landed. Literally just landed, yeah. Just off a plane. Yeah. Just out of a car. Just in the door. Yeah, about an hour ago, yeah. Oh, thanks for doing that. Oh, no bother at all. I uh, appreciate it very much. Uh, how did you end up in a film with Anthony Hopkins? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did a... Um, my, I, I've got an agent in America, yeah. and she sent me the script, and, you know, she said to me that if, if I felt I connected with the part, if I wanted to do self-taping and send it over... Mm. So um, I, my best friend Shane Cowley back home, he's a photographer, so he's got a studio at the back um, of the house, and he uh, he very kindly taped it for me. And the uh, bass player in the band I play with uh, read in with me. They so you're all messing in someone's house, was it? In your own house? Just messing around the the back of the house, yeah. And then sent it off, and I didn't really think that anybody'd watch it, and and they did. Yeah. So. Uh, and what is the process then? Somebody sees it and says, "Great, this is uh, this is an interesting uh, show reel or tape bit of tape." And yeah, well, I mean, you kind of have to go through. It goes through quite a bit. They watch the tape. Obviously, they respond to the tape. And uh, the director, Mikhail Hafstrom, he wanted to meet me in London, so I flew over to London and I met him. And uh, then I was going to LA anyway because I decided I'd go and try it out for two months and. If it didn't work out, then I'd give up. Yeah, oh, really? And, you were like that for it? <laughs> well, it was kind of, it was kind of, you know, you, you take a chance, and it's sort of. I decided I'd, I'd take that chance, and it's a big risk to take. Yeah. And thankfully, I had the other meetings, you know, to do with the right all the time that I was there, so yes. it worked out well. And then obviously, I had to go in and read with, with uh, Anthony Hopkins. Now, you you were in Fair City. You were in the clinic. You were in yeah. a bunch of other things, and then. How long were you, were you out of work or kind of before this sort of thing came along? I mean, the period before I got the right was pretty much, you know, it was maybe a year and a half. It's a long time. Yeah, it's, it's a long time. But before you know it, you're then walking into a room saying, good afternoon, Anthony, or whatever. <laughs> you know. How was that like? Uh, it was pretty nerve-wracking, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but he's, he's an unbelievably generous and, and uh, kind person. He came over to me. I mean, he knew I was nervous. Did he? You know, and... Uh, he came over to me and he said, uh, nice to meet you, I'm Tony. And I went, uh, I'm Colin, nice to meet you. And uh, he gave me a big hug and he said, listen, we'll just have fun. And that was it. Okay. I, I, pres I presume you have to have a certain amount of chemistry, a bit of, to, to gel with somebody before yeah. they say, so obviously that went well. What sort of things were you, were you doing with them, just shooting? I mean, breeze? we had scenes to do and uh, it was interesting because he, he, he was shooting Thor at the time and uh, he said to me as we were walking over, he said, uh, uh, Colin, I, I haven't had a chance to read the scenes, so uh, you'll just have to bear with me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we did the scenes and, and we sort of played around and he started to improvise then. Um, and and he just sort of, we, we just sort of played with the scenes and... And you rolled with the improvisation, which obviously... Yeah, well, I mean, when you get the chance to even sit and even just read scenes with Anthony Hopkins, it's an incredible yeah. experience, so... And the call came. Where were you when, when that happened? I was uh, in the living room back home. I was waiting to go out to do a gig with uh, the band up there with the enemies in Drogheda. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I was sort of standing in the living room and I couldn't quite believe it. Because this was a few weeks after I'd gotten back, so I kind of think, I didn't think it was going to happen, you know. And uh, it did, so I phoned uh, my, my family and, and my friends and stuff. They all came down to the gig and 
you know, we had a couple of drinks. I'd say you did. I'd say it was some gig that night, was it? it was, yeah, it was a bit of crack. Yeah, yeah, can I only imagine. Um, the 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 right, uh, the film itself. It's, yeah. So I watched, went to see it on Monday, and it's it. I was expecting a horror, but it's more psychological than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's I mean, more it's, like a thriller, a kind of religious thriller. Type yeah, it's thing. definitely less of a horror yeah. than, than you might think. It's just because. Obviously, the sub- subject matter is about exorcisms. Yeah, so. tell us about it, actually. Tell us about well, it. I, I play a character called Michael Kovac. Yeah. Um, he's an American seminarian who... He's sort of... He, he doesn't... He's not sure of his faith. He's not sure if he, he believes in it or not. And he gets sent to Rome to enroll in a uh, an exorcism uh, course, which is actually a real thing that happens in, in Rome. And he gets sent to meet this older priest played by Anthony Hopkins, Father Lucas, and through... I guess through his experiences with him, he sort of begins to figure out, you know, what his faith is and what his beliefs are. Yeah, and it's it's kind of it seems to be loosely based on a true story yeah. of of a yeah of, of a Father Gary Thomas. Yeah. yeah, so he and he was on set watching this. He was on set, yeah, a couple of times, um, which was interesting because especially he was on set for one of the big exorcism scenes, and he, uh, I, I I asked him, I said, you know, is this very Hollywood? And he said, I've seen everything happen in real life. And this with the girl possessed talking yeah. in demonic language yeah, and, yeah. And, and coughing up things and stuff like that. Nails so, in, the, yeah. in the movie as it happens. Yeah. And, and did you go to see an exorcism? I mean, did you? Did you? I did, yeah. I got, the... I got stranded in Rome uh, because of the ash cloud. And Matt Baglio, who wrote the novel, uh, wrote the book, w- was there. He lives in Rome and he phoned me. And I was doing a costume fitting and he phoned and I said, yeah, hello, Matt. And he said, yeah, Colin, do you want to come see exorcisms this afternoon? <laughs> and I said, uh, yeah, okay. And I hung up and I suddenly went... Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. What have I uh, got myself into? Yeah, yeah. But um, I went to see them, and it was because I had a preconception of as to what I was going to see after seeing films like The Exorcist. And yeah. So I didn't know what I was letting, and because obviously, I mean, The Exorcist was banned here for for so many years, and I didn't I didn't know what to expect. And it was actually it was more like I guess going to see a therapy session. You know, there were people seats kind of like this, just sitting long, and they were just sitting waiting to go in, and they get called in, they go in they get exercised and they'd leave, make an appointment for the next week and, and come back. And I mean, that was that was the session sessions that and I saw. And is there any of the spearing up nails and, and shouting? I, I didn't tongue, see so? any of that. I did no. see there was one person closed the door and she, she didn't want us to watch and she was screaming and thrashing about. Okay. But there was a definite unease in the place. Do you know what I mean? A, a sort of vibe in the air, was it? Yeah, I don't know if that was just because I knew that I was watching some exorcisms or... Yeah. Or what it was, you know. It's a far cry from the movie, which of course is so I know, yeah. bleak and grim and yeah. they're in the room and she's a great actress by the way. They, yeah, uh, Marta Gastini who plays Rosaria, she's incredible, yeah. So you, you were in Fair City as I mentioned for only a little while, it was about four episodes. I was in the F four episodes. Yeah. And uh, so you, it's a far cry from that clearly. Well it's different, all yeah. right. Uh, you know. Is it much different actually when you say <laughs> it's yeah, well, I mean I guess to be I'm honest with you, I guess that well I think how you work in front of a camera is the same, but yeah. I guess the scale is maybe bigger. Just less demonic roaring. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. And of course, you're in the clinic as well. I was in the clinic, yes. Uh, yeah. Will we share a clip of that just for the sake of it? Because we've seen you in the exorcism with Tony Hopkins. Let's, yeah. Would you, want to see, would you like to see Colin in the clinic? Yeah. Amy Huberman. Yeah. Will we do this? If you want, Welcome yeah. home, Colin. <laughs> that means... Full. Don't start. Connor, you've got an illness. You have to take your meds. It's just how you want me, isn't it? All nice and docile like a battery chicken version of myself. You're getting manic and you won't do anything about it. I'm scared something bad is going to happen again. Okay, so I went out in the rip. But it's not about the meds. It's because I'm miserable. What? See, ever since you took that job, you've been pulling away from me. You're not the daisy I fell in love with. I am. I am the same. No. You're the one who's changing. Now, see, there's normal Daisy, and now there's this new corporate Daisy, and I don't like her. She's boring. So here's the deal. Either you leave your job, or we're done. Yeah. 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 She had changed. She had Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice T-shirt, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a pretty good fight. Not your own, obviously. I don't no, it didn't bring that with you. Uh, has, has it been all changed now since the right? Because you're you're incredibly good in this film. Like you're, I, I could see, like I was just saying to, I think it was your dad before. A star is born. There's no question about it. So, is, have, have the offer started rolling in now for you, Colin? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's di- it's slightly different. You know, it's opened up some doors for me. So. Thank God. I mean, we're we're still in the process of 
touring around and promoting the movie and stuff. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah, things are are definitely going a bit better. Every time I've I, obviously reading a lot of articles about you in the last week or two, and and everyone, pretty much every journalist says he's the next Colin Farrell, and and that. It almost it's Conan O'Donoghue, the next Conan Farrell. It's almost all in one sentence. Yeah. It, how's that sitting with you? Is, is that is that a compliment? Or I mean, to be honest with you, I think Conan Farrell is an unbelievably uh, brilliant actor. I yeah. think he's great, um, and you know, I think he's he's a fantastic guy. So uh, people are going to say that because my name is Colin anyway, and I've done a film. But I think they say, I think I think they say that about every young actor. There's a bit of that about so, it. So um, I mean, that it's great. It's great to be to be considered in that vein, you know. What about the music? You're, what do you play in the band, by the I way? Play, I play the guitar. Guitar, okay. Yeah. You're not a lead singer as well? Is that no, no, okay. no. Ron is the lead singer, yeah. Ron's lead singer. Yeah. So are you going to still keep that up? or are you, Yeah, definitely, you? yeah. This, uh, actually, it's it's sort of, the band have been in recording and um, there's a bit of interest, you know, in, in the band now. As yeah. well, so it could yeah. go either way in some respects. It could go both ways. Or both, okay, all the Maybe. same time. So yeah. what, what are you going to do next? I mean, obviously, you're, you're promoting the ride around the place at the moment. Yeah. Right? What, do you have another project to go to? Or yeah, you, there's you, a couple of things. Can you tell us what they yeah, are? I can't, I can't go into them. Will you have to kill us if you do? Is that it? Them, yeah. Okay, but the stuff going on, will it be in Ireland or abroad? It would be abroad. If it, if, if it all takes place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can stop playing this game now. But I appreciate you coming in. The film's called The Ride. You're excellent in it. You, you Thanks for having me on. If you come back, you're awesome.